I pulled the plastic up on that row over there and we have decided to go ahead and till it up so that way I can plant some green beans. Now my plan all along has been to have a no-till garden, but um, our soil is so hard and compact that it is almost impossible to get the beans planted if we don't till it up. The soil in some areas of my garden is great and in other areas it's not. It's just going to take several years to get it all built up nicely. Next we're tilling up this area where I had the potatoes planted to plant more beans. <sighs> Miley and her plastic snakes. I caught that thing out of the corner of my eye and I literally did a boogie dance just now. Okay, so we got our rows tilled for our beans. Just from my past experience, I just feel that beans grow so much better in soil that's been tilled. One year I did plant a small row in an area that had not been tilled and they just didn't grow very well. Now I don't know if it was because of that or something else, but I had beans planted in other areas of the garden and they grew just fine. There's several reasons why I like to grow green beans in the fall. Um, the biggest reason is that they are so much work and um, I get nervous about planting them in the spring because I don't want them to be all ready to pick right around the fair time or right around the 4th and all that because we always have so much stuff going on in July that it would make it very 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 hard for me to get them picked and canned. And not only that but in July it is so hot here. Even in the mornings and evenings it's hot and it would be just miserable out here trying to get them all picked. So I like to do them in the fall because um, I feel like they grow better, they produce more, and we have less things going on come harvest time, and the weather is just a little bit more pleasant to pick them in. Right now I am just going around and trimming down some big weeds. As you can see they've kind of taken over the pepper plants. So I'm just going to trim them down so I can see where my plants are at. There, that looks lots better. And the peppers are starting to produce. Finally, it always seems like it just takes them forever to get going. Next, I'm gonna try to tackle this mess. In some places, the twine just is not holding up the tomatoes very well. Now, I know I should have been keeping up with this a little bit better and I should have been getting out here and pulling the tomato vines up through the um, twine and all of that but I just simply haven't had time and also in several spots the twine has broke so what I'm thinking is I probably should have added a lot more twine than what I did also I know that it probably would have helped if I would tr come out here and trim my tomatoes down but I'm personally just not a tomato trimmer I just leave them just kind of let them go and let them do their thing my mom used to work in the garden center at Walmart and one time she had a customer that came in and they got to talking about tomatoes. And um, he was telling her that he never stakes his tomatoes. He just plants them and then he lets them go. He lets the weeds grow up around them. And he says he always has really nice tomatoes. And he never really has too many problems with fungus or anything else affecting his tomatoes. And so I got to thinking, man, he might actually be onto something because that would be a whole heck of a lot less work just to let them grow without staking them up. One of these years I just might have to experiment with that.
been incredibly hot here lately and it's been forever since we've had any measurable rain and as you can see our pastures are really starting to dry up and so because of that we've decided to go ahead and wean our kids a month or two earlier than what we normally would I'm not exactly sure yet how long we're going to keep the kids. Um, I do want to advertise them locally to see if there's anybody around here that would be interested in buying them. And if there aren't any takers, we'll probably take them to the small animal auction sometime next month. Our alfalfa patch has even taken a hit. I really do hope we get some rain sometime soon. Well, the kids got ambitious and they were willing to do some work. So I put them to work and um, we took up all the black plastic between the tomatoes. I think it looks so much better. Now what I plan to do is go ahead and put a thick layer of mulch in between all the rows. I never did really like the looks of the black plastic so I'm glad to have a more natural look to the garden again. There's a couple of nice tomatoes in here. These tomatoes that I just picked are the Glamours that I started from seed. And the Glamour are the heirloom variety that my grandmother used to grow. And my mom also used to grow them. And um, so I decided to try them just to see. And I really, really love them. I think next year I'm going to try to start all of my tomatoes from seed and only plant Glamours. They also seem to be more disease resistant than some of the others that I've planted this year.